Mm. 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 Chili oil in my dessert. Hi there. My name is Eric Z. I am one of the owners of this restaurant called 886. In front of us, we have four dishes. I think today what we're trying to do is show people that chili oil isn't just a fucking garnish mm. on noodles and dumplings, even though we have dumplings here, but... And noodles. And noodles. <laughs> the whole ethos of this dinner yeah. is to throw that shit out of the window. Mm. First dish is a salad. This is a frisée salad made with lard fried crispy shallot and this really, really, really salty uh, beef tataki. The dressing is made with pineapple juice, chili oil, little sesame oil, mm. uh, little white vinegar, tiny pinch of salt, and a tiny pinch of MSG. Oh my god, the heat is so good. It's a spicy salad. Yeah. Right, you don't get that a lot. No? I don't understand why. Yeah, it's a Because point. salad is also like most often an appetizer, right? Then spice is the perfect appetizing flavor, mm. right? Because it, it, it increases endorphins, it makes you even hungrier. Yeah. When you're eating spicy shit, you can't stop. Let's do the dumplings? Yes, let's. So I say dumplings, but we really folded it in like a, a mandu uh, wonton style. Inside is filled with bacon, egg, and cheese. Wow. We wok fry a shit ton of eggs with butter, a little canola oil so it doesn't burn. We fold scallions into it, fold Fresno chili, we fold Thai chili for that kick. Yeah. We fold bacon, it was extra hickory smoked Newski wow. bacon, shout out Newskis. And on the bottom, which you can't really tell right now, but it's a layer of chili oil with a tad bit of black vinegar. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's not breakfast without coffee. Now, I heard you make coffee. <laughs> We ground your coffee beans into a very, 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 very fine wow. powder, and then we incorporate it into the chili oil. Oh my god. So the bitterness of coffee, the natural bitterness and the aromatic notes kind of rounds out chili oil that I found. It, it brings it down a level to something that's more tame. But you know what's cool? Like, it's been sitting in the oil and it's still crispy. Yeah. How'd you do that? Oil doesn't sock things up. Steam by sitting in an oil it basically is not releasing anything. Mm. And so it just keeps its texture. I feel like this 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 little piece is really representative of like this whole bridging cultures, East and West. Yeah. Right? Like the BSC is super New York. The chili oil and dumplings is like very Asian Eastern, right? You know and wait, and where is this cheese from again? Oh, yeah. So in the theme of authenticity, mm -hmm. I used a Mexican blend from, from a boutique brand called Kraft. So intercultural. Yes. So there's one dish on our menu. It's not here, but it's a chicken sandwich that we serve. It's ginormous. Mm -hmm. It's inspired by the McDonald's chicken sandwich in Taiwan. When McDonald's went to Taiwan, they couldn't sell too much beef because Taiwanese people didn't eat beef in the 80s, which is when McDonald's went. And so they were like, fuck, we gotta do a chicken sandwich. And that chicken sandwich is the best selling thing, I think. I missed it so much, I came back and I was like, damn, we gotta make a version of it. Unconsciously, it was like, the chicken sandwich in Taiwan was from the West. And then I ate it and I was like, shit, I want it. So I brought it over here. So that's the concept that I think more people should really uh, explore. Because at the end, we'll just end up with a better product that is more global food than new American. Right, right, right. right. And it's not fusion. The next one is chili oil carbonara. Oh my god. So carbonara is eggs, mm -hmm. cheese, pasta water, mm -hmm. pasta. Mm -hmm. Pretty much it. So egg yolk is fat, right? Mm -hmm. Egg yolk also happens to be the best emulsifier. I was thinking egg yolk is fat, then why not incorporate more fat? Chili oil is fat, so we just incorporate chili oil into the egg yolk and cheese mixture with the pasta water. Wow. which emulsifies even better. We have 15 ingredients in the chili oil, so why not add it all at once mm -hmm. into the carbonara? And I've always said, people are gonna hate me for this, but Italian food is just Chinese food with cheese. So, 
We are reclaiming pasta. Yes! Speaking about East meets West meets East, and my emphasis on Italian foods is Chinese food with cheese. If you look at this bucatini dish, this carbonara, it looks like Chinese noodles. You're right. It kind of does. Is it wrong to say it kind of looks like lo mein? It does look like lo mein. You know what? I made like this noodles? in a. I made it in a wok. That's a power move right there. I mean, this is like lap chang, right? Wow. Maybe the, the noodle pole. Oh yeah. Maybe the Italians eat pasta with forks like, for, for a reason. reason. Yeah, let me hit you up with a little bit of the guanciale. Yum. All right. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Mm. It tastes like a Chinese style stir fry noodle. And it's because we used a Z Daddy in here mm -hmm. and it has all the Chinese notes. Not all, but a lot of them obviously are derived from Chinese cooking. It's also a little cheese in here, right? Oh, a lot of cheese. Mm -hmm. Plenty of cheese. Parmesan or what? Parmesan. I feel like the Parmesan with the chili oil is just like, like the creamy, smooth and like savory texture of the, of the parmesan yeah with like also like the silky spicy notes of the chili oil it's it just goes together so well of course so eric tell me about your collaboration with 88 rise and z daddy and maybe like what was inspiration around the labels or the ingredients yeah. in here during the pandemic z daddy actually helped carry us through i would say about like three four months wow when we weren't like open, open, or like we were just doing takeout and delivery. Yeah. And people were really supporting us online. And it was yeah. seeing, I was super surprised. Yeah. People were buying it from like Wyoming to Michigan to yeah. Delaware to Florida. Yeah. And so we were like, oh, maybe there's something here. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> and for Lunar Year, it was just the year of the ox. It's yeah. just, 88 was like, they essentially told me that we would, we like your product so much, we would love to, you know, help promote it promote it to a bigger audience right this is an entire chicken oh my God. completely deboned except for the feet the feet are so cute yeah this is buttermilk uh, marinated mm -hmm. for about a night buttermilk with a lot of mal our house blend mala powder mm -hmm. and the batter is something that i've worked on for, for honestly a while mm -hmm. it took me a long time it's a blend of flour sweet potato flour, cornstarch, and baking soda. Wow. So the baking soda, and you have to incorporate some acid. I add just regular white vinegar mm -hmm. at the very last second. Mm -hmm. So it activates the bubbles. Mm. It carbonates, and so wow. the moment you throw it in the fryer, it fizzles, wow. and it becomes a super thin crust you yeah. see on top. On top is a honey chili oil drizzle. So it's inspired by Korean fried chicken. Koreans are goat at fried chicken, in my opinion. The, in, the usage of honey to coat their fried chicken is genius because honey doesn't sog up the crisp. It's true. Right? You know what else doesn't sog up crisp? See daddy? This chili. Yes! <laughs> so why not combine both, right? Amazing. Sweet and spicy is a no-brainer. The whole bird, mm -hmm. debone it, left the legs, obviously. Very cute. For aesthetics. Yeah. But this way you get so it's connected? <gasps> oh, this is the breast. Oh my. This is the leg. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. It's a. Holy it's a shit! Way to... I've never seen that because usually it's like you want the breast or the leg. Yeah, so wow. now you have best of both worlds and you don't have to be polite about it. Oh. Yeah, honey. honey. The honey, honey really shines, shines yeah. through. Mm -hmm. Gives it, gives the whole bird a light sweetness. <gasps> Did you hear that? Yeah, you can use chili oil in a way where it's not dominantly spicy, mm. right? A lot, a, a big connotation about chili oil is that you add it because it lacks spice. You want the kick, mm -hmm. but no, chili oil and an array of chili oils. There are different genres that can add different flavors to it, and there are different ways to manipulate it so it's not the most overbearingly uh, spicy thing. So I have one thing that, I, first of all, I don't know if it's good. It might be fucking disgusting. I'll let you know. But in my head, it kind of works out. I haven't tried it yet, so okay. we'll try it together okay. for the first time. Okay, cool. Uh, I, it will magically appear here in three seconds. Woo! So, the surprise. Ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Amazing. A little bit crushed almonds on top. Ooh. And one coffee supply. Woo! Shot of espresso. So this is avocado, <laughs> obviously. 
but there's a twist coming soon. Okay. So we're gonna add this right in. Of course, I spread it all over the table. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna add in a little bit of chili oil honey. Oh, yeah. I know we just had some chili oil honey here, but I redid this honey because mm -hmm. it needs to be a little sweeter than, than what we would brush on a chicken. Mm -hmm. Because chili oil is obviously spicy and savory. Yeah. You need an extra kick of sweetness wow. to balance. Like yeah. the coffee balances the sweetness of the ice cream. Oh my God, it's amazing. So, Holy shit. It this may or may not amazing. work. All right, All right, let's try it. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Again, that it honey. comes at the end. Yeah, that, chili, that honey chili oil. <gasps> it just hit me. End. It came at the end. Isn't it magical? Wow. <coughs> Chef, cheers to you and this incredible meal. Cheers to you. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Wish you have a prosperous year of the oh, ox. Lots and I? lots of money. Because oh. that's the only thing that matters in life, right? <laughs> the only thing. Yeah. And Z Daddy. Yes, and Z Daddy. Cheers.